Number eight, WD My Book Duo. Number eight on our list is the WD My Book Duo. If you're looking for the absolute largest capacity external USB hard drive, then the WD My Book Duo is the one to get as it now goes all the way to a massive 28 terabytes. If you don't mind sacrificing some of the ample storage space, you can set the drives up in a RAID 1 array, so you have file backups of your files should one of the drives die. This is an excellent feature if you're going to use this device to back up irreplaceable data, such as your creative work, as it adds a level of protection in case things go wrong. It provides two additional USB ports on the rear, so you can easily insert flash sticks. The device has a 256-bit AES hardware encryption and automatic backup software. It's also worth noting that the enclosure used is fully serviceable and that WD ships the drive already pre-formatted for Windows users, NTFS, so you'll want to reformat it to work with your Mac. Number 7. A Data SD700 External SSD Number seven on our list is the Adata SD700 external SSD. This is the best cheap external SSD with a maximum capacity of one terabyte. The Adata SD700 will suit those looking for a rugged storage device that can provide ample capacity without costing too much. It performs superbly well and remains the only SSD we've seen that's IP68 rated, which means it can withstand dust, dirt, and sand, and is water resistant for up to 30 minutes. Thanks to the solid state drive that resides in this external hard drive, it's a lot faster than external drives that use traditional spinning drives. So you're getting great transfer speeds as well as rugged protection. It also comes in capacities up to one terabyte, so you don't have to worry about missing out on storage space just because it uses an SSD. This a data drive really does hit all the right notes. Number six, Buffalo Mini Station Thunderbolt. Number six on our list is the Buffalo Mini Station Thunderbolt. This is the most affordable Thunderbolt external hard drive on the market, with a capacity of up to two terabytes, including Thunderbolt and USB 3.0. If you want to make use of your Thunderbolt port, then this Buffalo Mini Station Thunderbolt is a great option as it provides twice the speeds of standard USB 3.0 drives. It's also not especially expensive compared to other Thunderbolt drives. This is mainly down to the fact that it's a traditional hard drive, not an SSD which means it's not quite as fast as it could be, though it will give you an upgrade to your transfer speeds. Helpfully, the Buffalo Mini Station Thunderbolt also comes with a 3.0 port for connecting to computers that don't have a Thunderbolt port. Number five, G-RAID with Thunderbolt 3. Number five on our list is the G-RAID with Thunderbolt 3. G technology has long been a favorite of Mac creative professionals, and no small part of this is the clever use of silver aluminum that perfectly matches Apple's iMac casing, keeping desktop areas with a uniform appearance. The latest incarnation of its G-Ray dual hard disk Thunderbolt product isn't just a smart performer, capable of 440 megabytes per second transfer rates with RAID 0, which is pretty incredible for hard disks, but it also gives you a few extras. There's an HDMI to 2.2 port on the back, which routes a video signal for external display over the G-RAID's Thunderbolt 3 cable, which has plenty of bandwidth to spare even with the hard disk going at full speed. It also has a USB-C port to connect to Macs or PCs that lack Thunderbolt. Expect to pay a small fortune for the largest capacities, but thanks to the easy drive removal system, you could always buy a cheaper lower capacity G-RAID and upgrade it with off-the-shelf hard disks yourself. Number four, Seagate eight terabyte expansion drive. Number four on our list is the Seagate eight terabyte expansion drive. If you need to go big when you leave home, Seagate's eight terabyte expansion drive is the way to go. It's not exactly the best external hard drive. You don't get the best speeds when you're transferring files, although they're not too far behind the WD My Passport. But what you get is masses of space and a very reliable drive. While there's no real point getting a Seagate with less than the maximum capacity, its speeds are quickly eclipsed by other drives. The 8 terabyte version strikes a nice balance between capacity and efficiency. It hits around 150 megabytes per second during both read and write tests, which is about mid-range for HDDs. But in terms of price, you can get this drive for about $130 or even go up to 10 terabytes if you're feeling particularly storage hungry.
that's way better than you'll find on SSDs and beats most internal HDDs if you start comparing them. It's USB 3.0 compatible too, so you've got a drive that'll plug into most PCs and laptops. In fact, if you're a regular laptop user, this is super handy for extending the pitiful storage you find in most machines. Just as a word of warning though, this does require external power and comes with its own power unit, so it's slightly less portable than other drives. Number 3. WD My Passport 4TB Number 3 on my list is the WD My Passport 4TB. It's not as compact and as fast as Samsung's T5, and it can't withstand Armageddon like Lacie's Extreme Key, but at up to 4TB for $100, it offers copious storage space at a good value. We also like that Western Digital fares well each time cloud backup provider Backblaze releases a hard drive reliability report. The 4TB model measures 21.5mm by 81.5mm by 110mm and weighs 250 grams. You probably wouldn't want to try and jam one into a shirt pocket, but they're almost as portable as a smartphone. Just a little clunkier. The one terabyte passport is slightly thinner and weighs 170 grams if you don't need as much space. It is undoubtedly the minivan of external hard drives. No external power is needed to use WD's drive. Just plug in the USB cable and start backing up your files. You can also install WD's backup software to automate the process. WD also goes the extra mile with password protection and hardware encryption. And if you're looking to make a fashion statement, you can select My Passport in a range of color options. Number 2. Lacie Rugged 2 Terabyte Number 2 on our list is the Lacie Rugged 2 Terabyte. When you think about what external drives are used for, then suddenly durability becomes essential. While it might look like a dodgy chew toy, the Lacie Rugged Portable HDD is as tough as they come and even has a rubber cover around the edges to dampen the shock from any impacts. Do not try this at home, but you can drop this thing from a fair height and it'll stay perfectly intact. The speeds it operates at are respectable. If on the lower end of the scale, hitting around 110 megabytes per second in read and write tests. You can pick up the Lacie relatively cheap too, although you're paying a little more for durability, so you're looking at about $110 to $120 for a 2TB model, and $100 for 1TB. We'd recommend the 2TB purely because this will last you so long, it'll store your files for years. If you're someone who is a little careless with how they pack their bag, or you genuinely take your PC files on more extreme outings, then this is the extreme external HDD for you. It comes in all kinds of variations to suit all connection types, including USB 3.0, mini USB, USB type C, and multi input versions. Number one, Samsung T5 SSD. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, number one on our list is the Samsung T5 SSD. This is the best portable SSD in our eyes and the best external drive you can get. Solid state is technically still hard, right? For the power user who wants it all, speed, capacity, and portability, and who is willing to pay a premium for it. Samsung's portable SSD T5 is one of the slickest solutions out there. It's faster than any USB flash drive available, and it has the capacity of a hard drive and you can carry it inconspicuously in your pocket. This spunky little drive shares the same DNA as Samsung's 860 EVO SSD, just in a smaller package. It has a USB 3.1 Type-C connector, giving a maximum theoretical output of 10 gigabytes per second. Speed doesn't come at the expense of storage space. While it's easy to bump into the storage ceiling of a 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, or even a 128 gigabyte USB flash drive, you'll find there's much more breathing room when dealing with terabytes of space, which is what the T5 offers. Whereas the first generation T1 topped out at one terabyte, Samsung was able to double the maximum capacity of the T5 to two terabytes, a result of upgrading from 32 to 48 stacked layers of VNAND flash memory cells for a denser configuration. This is one great purchase.